So, uh, since I won that match, that means I'm the number one contender, right? I mean, I just won a fatal four way. And this and it's pay-per-view time. Look, I'm again. <clears throat> That's right, it's Sunday, and it's I'm again time. You see my shirt? Show is over. That's it. You've been through hell these last few weeks, but miraculously, you emerged victorious each time. Tonight, you got a United States title match. Okay, good. Title match against the man that's orchestrated these attacks against you, the Big Show. That's right, coach. All I did was ask for a United States title match. And rather than just say yes, the Big Show made a big mistake and made it personal. He would have had a tough time beating me if this was just business, but now he got no chance. So listening to you now, it sounds like your match tonight is less about the United States title and more about revenge against the Big Show. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd be lying if I didn't say that revenge was, was part of it, but it's also about the US title. After I beat that ogre, the Big Show, I have proven that I, I can make it on SmackDown as a singles competitor. Plus, once I got a singles title again, I also have proven that I'm championship material. And if I can do that, Stacy might take my phone calls again. All I want to do is explain to her what happened. That's all I want, Stacy. Just let me explain, and everything will be fine. You'll see. Just give me one more chance, baby. Leave uh, George, George Clooney and come back to me. Come on. Oh, hey. You like my shirt? Oh, boo-hoo. Ain't Big Show a lot taller than that? Oh, boo-hoo. Let me wipe your tears away. If I were you, I'd spend a little less time worrying about the chick who dumped you months ago. And a little more time worrying about the man who's about to break you in half. Uh-oh. Should I be worried about the hired idiot who's about to attack me from behind again? They better hurry. Because tonight, I got you one-on-one -on -one in a steel cage. Mono a giant told. <laughs> Funny. Nah, I gave the boys the night off. So I'll take care of you myself. No big deal. I'll use you to have a light workout. I can imagine you having to light anything. Or a workout for that matter. And come on, show. Why can't you just admit that Teddy Long told Orlando and Hyden right to stay home? Not you. You know, when you run your mouth like that, I start to think that you really don't understand the situation you in. I'm not locked in that case with you. You locked in there with me. And only one of us is leaving with the title. So take one more good look at this. Cause it's the last time you ever gonna be seeing it this close. Let's go. Still cage match with this man right here. I'm ready. Y'all ready to get some gold? Y'all ready to get some gold? But about to have a title. The show is over. I'm telling y'all right now. My shirt. The show is over. The reason why this pay-per-view is called Armageddon is because it's the Big Show's end. It all ends for the Big Show right here. That's why this pay-per-view was called Armageddon. It's the beginning of the end for the Big Show. That's it. There is nothing left. He, he gonna have nothing left after this pay-per-view. This Big Show's Armageddon. So I hope he spent the whole night before last night staring at the title. Cleaning it up, shining it up, staring at it. I hope he spent all that time just caressing his title, cause it's it's leaving. It's, it's leaving his uh his shoulder. It's leaving him. It's gonna be the last time you're gonna see it. I wasn't expecting a steel cage match though. I thought it was just gonna be a normal match. Oh! oh shit. Yeah, big show fighting. It's like I, I was hoping he would fight. Don't make this easy on me. It's gotta be worthwhile. Where your big ass think you going? Get back down here. All right. 
You really think you, think you was gonna leave the cage that fast? Nah. Nah, son. You ain't going nowhere. If only I could do that in real life. This German suplex a dude that's 493 pounds. <laughs> Come on. I got this. I'm feeling good. Earlier, I was feeling tired, but now I'm all. Nah, I'm not going to lift him. Okay. I was feeling tired earlier, but now, as soon as I, as soon as I started recording, I got all this energy for no reason. It's all this energy in me. I don't know where it came from. Oh, you go, see. Yeah, you go ahead and taunt. Don't uh, climb out the cage. Taunt. No, you don't. Okay, so far, so good. We even right now. Oh, shit. Oh! Massive headbutt to the head. Gotta get up. Gotta get up. Oh. Saw me coming and ain't even... Oh, yeah, he. This is a mess right here. It's a mess right here. Uh, he thought I was gonna pick you up, so nope. Not today. Let me talk to him. Try to climb again? No? Okay. Oh! Push ups again. Do 100 by the end of the night. <laughs> Alright, I'm winning now. Okay. I'm winning now. Uh, don't pick wrestle. Come on. Don't pick wrestle. Good, okay. Hoping he's really gonna pick rest over. Now I'm gonna pick Taunt. <laughs> and I'm about to, and I'm on fire. Well, I was on fire. What the, don't push me away. Ah! It's a simple throw. You don't. Yeah! He went for that, um, for that, uh, desperate move when he's in danger. I forget what it's called. Uh, uh, momentum shift. He went for the momentum shift and I predicted that shit. <laughs> no, you ain't getting that shit on me. Oh, wait. Right. I'm getting tossed all around the ring right now. Alright, get off me. Get off me. Damn. I'm getting manhandled right now. Oh, caught his foot. Didn't think I would do that. Push ups again. Hmm. Sit your ass back now. Oh. He was. Well, he, he got that punch off, but he was too slow to get that big boot. I definitely press R right there. Now he's on fire. That's not good. That means I gotta stop fighting back. I gotta do my special. It's on my... Okay. Ooh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Wake up. No choke slam. Yeah, there we go. Tried to get me with the choke slam. I said no. And now I'm getting the hell up out of here. Go, 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 go. Come on, baby, go. Come on. Let's get out the cage and get that title. Clown, yes! United States champion. Champion of the United States. The superstar.
and the new United States champion, right here. The show was definitely over. I told you, show's over. Let's go home. Let's go home. New belt, new gold. Let's get out of here. Let's go. United States champion. What's who doing here? That look like Edge. No, Edge, Jericho, and Randy. They all on SmackDown all of a sudden. What they doing here? Should be interesting. Look at that. Look at that uniform. Well, well, well. Who is it? Two to the fifth. Long time no see. That's right. Never thought you'd show your face on Raw again. Oh, I'm on Raw. I'm not on SmackDown. Well, I went to Raw. I don't know why. What the hell are you doing here? Look, I don't have time for you three punks right now. I'm here to find Stacy. Got to talk to her. If you're smart, you stay the hell out of my way. Whoa, hold on a second there, Junior. What's that shiny object you got with you? Why, it's the U.S. title. Has anyone reported it missing? You do seem to have, shall we say, a reputation for petty theft after all. That's pretty freaking hilarious, Jericho, especially since you, Larry and Curly, here know damn well that I never stole Raw's Bro Heavyweight Championship. Of course we know you didn't steal it. How could you have taken it when we beat you to it? Yeah, I figured that out sometime between our last little discussion at Unforgiven and the time I regained car, um, consciousness. <laughs> but you guys sure are proud of yourselves. Yep, it was all too easy. Orton distracted Bischoff by asking about a title match after WrestleMania. Jericho ran interference in the locker room to make sure nobody snuck off to the GM's office and I grabbed the belt. The perfect crime, except we on camera right now, but whatever. And all we had, had to do after that was cover for each other. It was easy. Who would have suspected that Chris and I would have worked together with a jerk like Edge on anything? And once it was done, all we needed was a uh, passing, I guess. And the highlight reel was the perfect place to create a fall guy. It's so clueless, you probably didn't even notice that every time I defended you, it just got more people talking about how you were, the, you were one of the only suspects. You were the perfect mark to the fifth. And you could thank that idiot Triple H for paving the way. That blowhard diverted attention from himself by pointing out that you had the most to lose at WrestleMania if you lost your title match. Once you injured him, he wasn't around for anyone to accuse, and you suddenly became everyone's prime suspect. So they're saying Triple H ain't behind this, Triple H ain't orchestrating this whole plan? I'm shocked. After that, all we had to do was plant little seeds in the locker room and cast doubt on your alibi. But I think we saved the best plant for last. After we ripped that gold off the title to freak Bischoff out, Edge planted it in your locker. I have to say, your sense of time and finding the gold right in front of Bischoff after you missed another pay-per-view match was priceless. I'll never forget the look on your faces, or Stacy's. Wow, you three sure are a trio of evil geniuses. What did you do with the title? To take it to your hidden underground lair? And what did you hope to gain with the World Heavyweight title out of the picture? Why? Why do you even have to ask? There was no way in hell that we were gonna give it we were gonna let Triple H leave WrestleMania with the World Heavyweight title again. Triple H has screwed each and every one of us out of that damn title. Hell, the cerebral ass clown screwed me out of out of it a month before WrestleMania. I made him tap and everybody saw it. And when the evolution fell apart, who got the World Heavyweight title match? Me, the legend killer, the future of this business. Of course not. It was Triple H, so we decided that until Triple H was off of Raw, so was his precious title. And you thought he'd just leave? If he's so obsessed with being the World Heavyweight Champion, why wouldn't he just stick around until the title turned up and claim it again? Yeah, because Triple H is known for his patience, right? Get a clue. We figured he'd get sick of waiting and jump to SmackDown at his first opportunity to go after the WWE title and get the hell out of our lives once and for all. That's not going to happen. I need to win a WWE title if I'm going to. <coughs> what? Do you mean you need it? What do you mean you need it? Nothing. Forget it. Well, wouldn't that be ironic if old Hunter 
went to SmackDown to hunt for a new title. <coughs> it could come down to you and him again, to the fifth. Only maybe there'd actually be a title match this time. Look, I don't care what, what you do to my reputation. I can take it. And I can certainly take you. But all I care about now is Stacy. I suppose you guys were just using her the whole time to turn her against me. That's low, even for you. Using her? I look her like Stacy? No way. I mean, yeah. Getting your only alibi to doubt your story was key. But let's face it. Her dumping you like a truck full of moose crap was the icing on the cake. Now that she's single again, she's been a little more receptive these days, if you know what I mean. That's it. Wait till I get my hands on you, you sorry son of a... Hey guys, hold it. Someone's coming. Oh, hey, look. It's to the fifth. What's he doing here? Yeah, didn't Eric Bischoff ban him from Raw? He's got no business here. He must be here to steal the Intercontinental title and bring it to SmackDown. Get him. So I get my ass kicked. Bullshit. Pack your bags. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I'm, I'm about to get stripped from stripped for my title. No, there's no way. I just won the title. You can't just strip it from me. Don't do this. I don't like that title. Now you listen to me, player. You made a big mistake by going to Raw this last Monday. I told you, forget about Bischoff and forget all about SmackDown. Giving the Raw Superstar a shot at the WWE title. I know Teddy, I didn't go to Raw for any of that. I just went to find Stacy. I didn't intend to get into a fight. I didn't have a choice. You had a choice. You could have chosen not to go there in the first place. And look at you now, dawg. You got a beat down for your trouble and you never did find your girlfriend, did you? You are a sorry sight if I ever seen one. Well, you should see the other guys. That's just it, player. I did see the other guys live on Raw, kicking the hell out of a SmackDown superstar for the whole world to see. You feel me? But Teddy, it didn't exactly go down like that. It didn't, I, I don't care how it went down, but speaking of down, player, I'm sending you down. What? I canceled your match tonight on SmackDown. You'll need that time to pack your bags. See, instead of a match tonight, you got a match this weekend on Velocity, and you're lucky to have that. Now get moving. Velocity, you're sending me there? Come on, Teddy, that's not necessary. I'm the United States champion for crying out loud. My mind's made up, player. That's the last time you or anyone else will ever embarrass SmackDown like that. Now, believe that. Well, at least I ain't lose my title. I don't know who, who my opponent's supposed to be, but I do know that the Velocity. contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from New Jersey, weighing 231 pounds, the United States champion, the superstar. Now, what I was trying to say was, now that I'm on Velocity, it's going to be the highest rated show. It's going to be a, a, it's going to get much higher ratings than SmackDown will this week. Yeah, I said it. Yes, United States Champion. I represent the 50 states of the United States. I'm their champion. I'm fighting for them. See who my opponent is. Who the chump I got to beat tonight? Oh, Kenzo. Okay. And from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 250 pounds, Kenzo Suzuki. Yeah. Let's uh wrap this up right quick. Let's just wrap this match up. Let's wrap it up here on Velocity. A show that's getting higher ratings than SmackDown tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm saying it. Since I'm here, the ratings will skyrocket. Matter of fact, I think SmackDown's ratings might have went down since I wasn't on the show. Uh, come on, come on, Kenzo. Show me what you got. Hmm, okay. You gonna step to the United States champion? I said, 
I'm going to really step to the United States champion. I got the strength of 50 states behind me. You can't beat me. I'm America's champion. Oh. No. He loves doing that knee, don't he? He's doing the same pattern over and over again. I don't know why. Uh, no. I don't think so. I gotta send, send a message to Teddy that I deserve to be on SmackDown. So I gotta destroy Kenzo tonight. What should I do? Make him tap? Pin him? Knock him out? Probably knock him out. I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock him out. There we go. Oh wait, there we don't go. No. Give me my super suplex. There we go. I wanted that. Don't take rest hold. Yes. No. Let's go. America. Not done yet, huh? What about this? What about a reversal? <laughs> okay. No. Ah. What? That's still hitting me, really? As slow as that was. I want to knock him out. Yeah, I want to knock him out. Can I do it though? Come on, pass out. Come on, pass out. Not just in danger. Let me reverse that one. I told you to pass out. Oh, shh. Here come this. Low blow. Yep. That won't save you, by the way. Just low blow on me like that. It's not going to save you. You get a power bomb for that. Sit there and low blow me, really? In front of the ref? In front of the ref, really? Good night. No, I said good night. Now go to sleep. There we go. KO. That's it. Here's your winner, the superstar. Where my belt at?